Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. My name is Matt from Matt's RV Reviews here in Orlando, Florida with my friends Brian to Aaron from Five to Go. Brian to Aaron, I like that. No. Yeah. How's it going, guys? It's going good. Yeah, welcome, yeah. welcome to the show. Thank you, guys. Thank you again. Let's do just a, a quick introduction on who you guys are and how we know each other and, you know, go from there. Yeah, so uh, we're a family of five. We are full-time RVers. Uh, we've spent Let's see, we did 20 months in our first RV, and then mm -hmm. we're six months into this one here. Yep. And uh, you guys probably recognize me from about six months, no, four months ago, yep. six months. It was April, four, six months ago. Yep. Um, where we, I flew down here to Florida and bought this thing from this guy. Yay! And then drove it all the way home. Yep, so. we'll link uh, the video of the tour of this unit right here. Mm -hmm. And then also in the link below, I'll definitely link their channel and uh, just like their drive back and their journey and their review on this unit. Yep. But uh, how long have you guys been in Florida now? Been here since the end of July, end of July so yeah. three months. Yeah, we came down when it was the hottest for yep. some reason. Yes, so hot. <laughs> um, but we've just been bouncing around Central Florida, yep. trying to figure out how to best live in this with three small children. Yes, and and with uh, COVID times. And with COVID times, uh, Travel yeah. isn't awesome right now, so uh -huh. we're kind of staying in Central Florida for the foreseeable future, just to, to make minimize randomness <laughs> so you guys are full-time mm -hmm. in this motorhome mm -hmm. yep. with your three kids how old are they um, our oldest is an 11 year old girl and then we have a six year old girl and a four year old boy and then an eight year old dog <laughs> yep. now this is definitely a big class a gas motorhome yes. one of the biggest class a gas motorhomes mm -hmm. out there but it is still a class a motorhome yeah. how is it uh, living full-time with the kids like that well, we decided to not do a bunkhouse model or to want to do one with bunks just because we wanted more living space and that has really worked out really well for us. Okay. Because um, we do have to convert a bed each night, but um, it's really quick and easy in here and it's a lot easier than it was in our travel trailer. Yeah, but we have a lot of living space, we have a lot of kitchen space and we're able to just kind of be a family just in a smaller mm -hmm. space and we knew when we lived in our big houses that we've lived in before, we spend all of our time in the kitchen and the living room and yeah. we would just go to our rooms to sleep. The kids too. Everybody wants to be together. And so living in a, in a motorhome, we just are all together all the time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And you know, like the floor plans that are similar to this that have the bunks, uh -huh. you lose so much storage. Yep. The kitchens are smaller. Living rooms are smaller. Mm -hmm. No washer dryer hookups, no pantries. It, those bunks take up a lot of space. Yeah. Now you guys are um, members of Thousand Trails, right? Yes, absolutely. Are you are you like are you like an affiliate of them or whatever? Uh, the, no, we're not salespeople. Oh, okay. No. No. Yeah, you don't have like a link or whatever. Well, if we you do. Go to five to gocom slash tt. Yeah, you can <laughs> see how we use it. We've right. spent uh, three hundred and eighty nights, I think, over the last three years. Wow. In, in the Thousand Trails network. Yep. And uh, it is. I don't know how people full time without it. Right. Um, it is an amazing way to save money. Uh, so if you go to 5 gocom slash GT, it's a huge long blog post all about zone passes, about memberships, what currently cost. how much everything costs, yep. how we use it to save a ton of money. Um, yeah, we're basically staying in Florida for free for, free. for as long as we want. Nice. Yeah. And, and you said you do uh, two weeks here and three weeks yep. there? Yeah, we bounce between this campground and another one uh, that is a proper Thousand Trails. This is like an affiliated campground. Yeah, this is um, one that you can get with an extra collection with Thousand yeah. Trails. So. Yeah, so we, we do bounce between two different campgrounds uh, so we don't pay anything per night. Awesome. Yeah. It's very nice. So, uh, so in history of Matt's RV reviews, uh, tell us three things you love <laughs> about full-timing and three things you dislike about it. Brian, what should we do first? Mm. <laughs> do you want to do the positive ones? Sure. Or, okay. She's the positive one in this. <laughs> I don't know if my positives are the same as your positives. Okay, though. well go, go with one. So we'll full timing, as you would imagine, we don't have a mortgage. We're not paying utilities. Do We're we not want paying. to define full timing? Everyone might not know what full timing oh, is. Oh, okay. Well, we, we can do that. We have no house. Yeah, we don't have a house. This is our house. This is it. Yeah. Right here. This is our house. We have no, nothing, no we storage sold unit, nothing. Three years ago, okay. we sold everything. We have no storage unit, no house. We have the car, the van, and the motorhome. That's yep, it. Yep, that's it. Yeah. We live out of vehicles. Um, 
<laughs> but so we don't have a mortgage we don't have utilities we're not paying HOA fees we're not doing any of that upkeep on a house um, but we both have full-time jobs and so all of that money goes towards whatever we want it to because we don't have all of those large expenses like Disney like Disney if we could go <laughs> we can't buy passes yeah. oh really yeah. we'll let you right now yeah. it's okay oh, bom, bom. as soon as they can we will yeah, um, but uh, so that's one two is we don't have a lot of stuff like we're not stuff people stuff ruins stuff yeah. Yeah, yeah and so like when we go out somewhere I'm not constantly looking at like when we lived in a house I did this I absolutely did this so if you do this it's, it's okay it's just not how we want to live now but like I need to buy things for this season and for this season and I have to decorate for this and this place setting needs to go with this season and I need to get a new casserole dish and I need the kids need like seven more outfits and everybody needs three pairs of shoes and so we only have what we need yeah. and so we're not spending money on all the extra things yeah, it's nice you run to Target with a list of things you need and that's what you get. And that's what you get because I don't have anywhere to put the stuff yeah, in there's Target. Nowhere to put so, it, so you don't get I'm it. no longer a mom meme for Target, yeah. um, which I'm okay with. Yeah. Um, it forces you to to make better decisions about spending money. And yeah. Time. So money, first two things, yeah. it kind of falls on that, and that's you know that's all of that for there. Also, another positive is my house moves. If I don't like this place, or your neighbor, I your neighbor, just yeah. go somewhere else. Yep. And I, we can move in the, in the matter of two hours. Like, we can pack all of this stuff up and be somewhere else. Have or you guys done that yet? Or if a storm's coming? Well, <laughs> we've been here right now um, in the, the hot season, so you're not, like, hemmed in with lots of people. Yeah, it gets real busy in the winter. Um, in the wintertime, usually, when it's the before times, um, you would be packed in here like sardines. And if you didn't like your neighbor, then, you know, you would have to go somewhere else. But um, we have, we've been lucky since we've been down here this time. Um, we have moved before. We have left campgrounds yeah. earlier than we wanted to. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Um, just either something felt wrong or uh, there was flooding coming. Like we went, yeah. stayed outside of St. Louis or, and it was going to start flooding the next day because we were oh, right wow. by the Mississippi. So yeah. we were like, let's get out of there. Or we didn't feel comfortable because some places don't like children. Yes. And yeah. so we roll pretty deep in children. So <laughs> yeah, when, we, we, when we roll up, uh, if we feel kind of like there's a hostile environment just because we're a family yeah. and we're nice people we don't have annoying children um, but some people just have those kind of yeah. feelings and we have friends family, that so. just went through that last month down, oh yeah down here yeah, in yeah yeah they had issues at a KOA with their kids yeah. we're at a KOA, yeah. at a KOA, at a KOA, at a KOA. Well, places, like yeah. like like in no, one it, there should be no disrespect anywhere disrespect yeah. disrespect yeah. But I could kind of see it coming at like a motor coach resort. Right. But yeah. a KOA, that, 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 is, yes. that is literally for everybody. everybody. There it's are for absolutely families. places. There are a lot of places out there that are 55 plus. Right. And that's fine. That's it's fine. private business. You run it the way you want to. Right. But, but a KOA. Yeah, that, that's crazy. That is yeah. crazy. Yeah. 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 So, so, yeah. Doing, so those are my negatives. positives. You can do negatives. Yeah. Can I throw a positive in real quick? I mean, sure. That's why I, I thought, that we, I mean, can we have four? Is that okay? I, I, I mean, we well, well, <laughs> so no, you can't have can't four. Can't have four. I mean, well, here's why, because my show's three. I know. But you guys are five. Yeah. So we are. you can give us five. So we can't do four. Okay. So two more if you're going to do Two more. Well, so my one, I'll, I'll do one. Um, our kids have been to all 48 lower states in the U.S. Yep. And oh, wow. they have met, yeah, we did 48 states in 18 months. Mm -hmm. Wow. And they have met all of our family on both sides. Yep. They wow. have we met visited friends, everybody. high school friends, college friends, all across the country that we knew growing up mm -hmm. that they never would have met otherwise. Yep. Wow. Because wonderful. when you only have a week or two of vacation a year, yep. you're not going to spend it going to see that person that you haven't seen in 20 years. Right. You're going to go now we've seen them. to Disney or to go see grandma or. That's huge. And, yeah. and, and you know, uh, my hopes is that, you know, that there's definitely at least one person watching this video who, you know, now with, with the world that we're living in, people get to work from home. Yeah. And that is one of the biggest benefits of it is full timing. Yeah. And don't get me wrong, stick around in the next couple minutes because they're going to tell you the crappy side well, of it. Back. Back. <laughs> but terrible. I mean, that is one of the huge things. Yeah. Like me, I, I haven't seen the West Coast. Yeah. I hadn't been west of the Mississippi. Well, I had been to Denver once um, before we went full time. And yeah. now I've been to all 48 states. Wow. Yeah. And but seeing, not Alaska? We have, well, well, Alaska's a long a trip. trip. <laughs> it's a long trip with small yeah. people. Yeah. 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 They so need to be we'll a little fly. bigger or we'll fly. We'll fly to Alaska and rent an RV while we're up there. Nice. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, you, you hear that, RV America, Cruise America? 
or whatever. Yeah. And then uh, and then Hawaii is notoriously difficult to drive to. So. Yes. Yeah, they yes. haven't finished that bridge, so. <clears throat> okay, yeah. so one more positive. One more positive. One more positive. Um, we have met so many cool people. Mm. Yes. We All never would have met Matt. Nope. Uh, <laughs> we never would have met any number of other YouTubers and just random people in campgrounds. Right. Like they'll see us out with the camera and be like, what are you doing? And, and then we have and a 45 minute conversation. Yeah. yeah. Or even outside of YouTube, just being in a campground, there'll be someone pulling across the way with kids. Our kids will go out. You know how kids are. They mm -hmm. just start playing with each other. Immediate friends. Next thing you know, you're around a campfire having hot dogs with someone you didn't know yeah. 10 hours ago. Yep. And you're still it's friends really with cool. three years later, so, yeah. you yep. know, it's, it's great. And it's so funny because people don't do that as adults. No. Yeah. And so, no, like, kids, like. <laughs> right, right. So kids are totally like an icebreaker yeah, to are. build a community. And yeah. our being even is an icebreaker in itself. Yeah, because for they, sure. Because you immediately have some shared connection with the guy that parked his next Hey, nice year. camper. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. There you go. Yeah, or you see them using some gadget you've never heard of, or they're mm -hmm. having trouble with something, you go lend a hand. It's, it's a great community, yeah. for awesome. sure. Yeah. So that that's great. This is a great video. Now it's time for the negatives. <laughs> Three. Let's hear what your negatives are. Yeah. yeah. Give um, us give us some things that is horrible about full timing. Because it's uh, not all it's not all not sunshine and rainbows. It's not. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do a softball first. Okay. Um, we live in the internet age. Uh huh. Right. Everyone's connected to everything all the time. Mm -hmm. Yep. That is difficult. Especially there, being a YouTuber. You, well, yeah. We have more data requirements than most people uh, um, just from producing videos but just trying to stay connected is difficult in, especially in remote places and now all of the cell carriers they have unlimited plans but it's not like mm -hmm. they throttle them they do all sorts of weird stuff with data capacities and stuff so well, if, you, if you're in. in a really nice place like we we're lucky we have an old cell plan we're being grandfathered in it's completely unlimited forever but as long as we have anymore. that, we're good. If anything happens to that, we're gonna be right on that boat that most people are that are starting out now, mm -hmm. trying to find actually unlimited data plans. And it's just a mess. Yeah. It's, it's really, everyone wants to be connected. Some of us have to be. Like I work from here, mm -hmm. like nine to five, five days a week. And I need to be connected because my work is through the internet. Well, why not just connect to the campground Wi-Fi? Because it's garbage. Yeah. Garbage. We've been at two campgrounds out of about 180 where the <laughs> Wi-Fi yeah, was wifi. actually really good. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. That thing. Yeah. yeah. Cool. So that's one. That's one. Two. Do you have another one? Probably. Okay. So I love my children. <laughs> <laughs> They're my favorite people. Do you love them 100% of the time? I, I do love them 100% of the time. Do you like them 100% of the time? <laughs> uh-huh. Um, but it is a small space. Yeah. And when you live in a house, everybody has their own space. Right. They don't, not everybody has their own space in here. Especially now, we have a tween. We do have a tween. Our 11 year old. So she there is to... no, like, just go to your room and she disappears upstairs. There's right. There's none of that. Um, which, for the most part, is wonderful because a lot of times you don't get to see your kids all the time and they just retreat to their rooms so and yep. they're not with you. But there are times when it's just like, it's, there's just too many people in one space and you're just like, there. we have to do something, we have to go yep. somewhere, we yep. have to be out of here. And um, the dog is always underfoot. The, and, yeah, the dog's yeah. always with us. Yeah. He's only 50 pounds, but he's... He always stands in the wrong he's spot. He's always in the wrong spot. <laughs> so, oh. so space is an issue. If you have yep. trouble being in space with people, and I know a lot of like introverted people like to have their own space where yeah. they can kind of be retreat. Um, and retreat. I don't have that, I don't need that, but... Um, but I know that some people do, and so this could be a hard lifestyle for you if that's yeah. if you need that. For sure, that especially, with especially with a family. Yeah. Yeah. Especially with a family. Yeah, we, we see couples out all the time. They've got a maid, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah. two people, people RV, plenty of space. But I don't want you to think that that it's it's an all the time kind of thing. It rarely happens, but when it does, I'm just kind of like, oh, we have to get out of here. Yeah, um, it's more that it builds up. It's yeah, not, especially yeah. if we have bad weather. Now that we're in Florida, it's not cold, it's not rainy all the time, it's not, you know, ugh. We can go out and do stuff, yeah. and so we can sit outside. But if we were someplace, you know, anywhere further north, it's cold now. You don't want to be outside. You don't want to be, you know, yeah. in other spaces. So you're just in. Yeah, so the tiny space is good and bad. Yeah. It, yeah. it forces you to prioritize. Yeah. That's another reason why you don't space. want to buy a lot of stuff because yeah. if you're if your inside space is tiny and you just clutter it with things, you're just I don't know that kind of stuff just makes me cool. I don't like stuff. Mm, one more negative. Hmm. 
doesn't get the best gas mileage. <laughs> no, most houses don't get. No, good gas they mileage. don't get good gas mileage. <laughs> um, hmm. something that that I could think of, but but it, it's yeah. really um campground situational. Yeah. So I mean, it's just I'm not trying to go there, but I have a really jacked up intestine system, <clears throat> and so when I got a, you know, yeah. I. The, the prime pooping position didn't come out of anywhere, right? <laughs> so like like certain types of foods, not being able to eat them because you're gonna blow up your whole house. Whereas what I noticed about this campground, because my stomach was already acting up after we ate lunch, there's a bathhouse bath right there. Yeah. So, yeah. so you know, I mean, it, I guess it depends on where you are, but. Uh, we do, there is a lot of apprehension, especially with people that aren't familiar with RVing, uh -huh. about the whole black tank, gray tank, dealing with sewer, Everyone, not everybody, most, you know, um, which, uh, which lampoon vacation Christmas. was it, the Christmas? Yeah. Yeah, National it's Lampoon's all, it's Christmas all, oh, vacation. you know, the thing's full. Um, it, everyone, a lot of people think that RVing is that. They think there's always poop everywhere. And there's, there's always disasters. And there's it, it's, it's always filthy. Like, some of you guys watch our videos. I always wear gloves when dealing with that stuff over there. But that's just in case. I've only yeah. had to wash the gloves off two times mm -hmm. in three years. So yeah. it's really, that does not happen. It, as long as you have a procedure down and you know what you're doing, it's yeah. fine. You're not gonna get poop everywhere. No. And it's not difficult. It, does it smell? Yeah, it smells, but it's fine. And then it's gone. And we have two bathrooms in this one, which has worked out rather nicely. Yeah, for um, sure, especially for five. Yeah. Well, bath and Bath and a half, sorry. Right, we have right. two toilets is what I mostly yeah. meant. And the kids know if that's what they're doing, that it's a quick flush and you clear the, the air and, yeah. you know, it's good. Once it's, once it's down, it's gone and you don't have to think about it ever again. Yeah. I mean, I guess, <laughs> I guess you do. that, yeah, you don't have to worry about no. it. No. <laughs> it goes into somewhere, I don't know. <laughs> it, it, yeah, it just disappears. Yep. Um, hmm. You have another problem? I another guess um, one of the negatives is kind of, directly against one of the pros. Oh, con where, a, con a, con a controversy. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, so one of the pros is it, it forces you to prioritize things and time. But one of my cons is some of the sacrifices might be too much for some people. Mm. Yeah. Like it's, I, we had monthly game nights. I had a yeah. weekly D and D game at our house. Mm -hmm. We did potlucks at our house every month. Mm -hmm. We we did all sorts of stuff. We had a room just dedicated to gaming. We had yeah, it was probably fun. five or six dozen board games, all sorts of stuff. A table set up just for it. Obviously, can't do that. Can't here. do that here. Right. And we had a whole we had a whole group of people. We had regulars. We had people that come in every once in a while. And these were not little parties. These were like no, these forty were, people yeah. parties that oh, we had yeah. every month. Every month, yeah. And and we absolutely missed that. And yeah. there's no way to entertain that many people to do around. that or even to carry around sixty board games. Or yeah. you know, there's a lot of stuff. We had to really whittle it down. Like it's easy carrying around an Xbox because everything's digital laptop yep. all that stuff digital but when it comes to stuff like that and a lot of the we did decorate very much for halloween and christmas yep. and we had bins and bins and bins of stuff that would come down out of the, out of the attic five for a christmas month or two. trees mm -hmm. five, five christmas trees full size christmas yeah so trees. stuff like that we can't do nope but we come up with other things so well, yeah it's a so, yeah, trade that's, off that's, that's kind of a negative is you kind of have to leave behind some hobbies yeah. some collections some Stuff like that, you know? So we go out and see other people's collections yeah. of things. Yeah. We go and see Disney World decorated for Christmas and yeah. big hotels decorated for Christmas and yeah. you know. Cool. So what's next for you guys? Hmm. We're going and, to, no, not going to and, World. Right. And um by the way, again, their channel is linked down in the description below. Make sure you subscribe to it if you haven't already. What a two part question. Yep. What what should people expect when they subscribe to your channel? And what's next for you guys? What's in the future? Um, what to expect when you watch us? We are exactly as we are when you meet us in yeah. person. Um, we are not an act. We aren't putting on a show. We are just talking from our heart and sharing our experiences. And like I said, you'll get the same thing whether you're sitting across the table from us or you're sitting, you know, at home watching us. Um, we do have three kids and we do a lot of stuff with them. Um, so this is, it, it is a family show where we, we are very yep. family friendly. 
We also try to do tips and tricks. Yeah, a lot, a lot of, of tips and tricks of things um, that we've learned. For yeah, because sure. because RVing, they're, they're, a lot of things are complex, and there's a lot of gadgets, there's a lot of accessories. Mm -hmm. You can walk into Camping World across the street and <gasps> just be completely. It's a great place for accessories. <laughs> would, yeah. um, we're not talking about RVs though, um, but. You can go in there and it's just wall to wall hundreds of things that everyone thinks you need all of. Yeah. So we really try and focus on just the necessities, just the, the better option, just the, the better procedures mm -hmm. and all of that. So we have a number of videos that are all about dealing with dump stations, mm -hmm. dealing with towing, dealing mm -hmm. with camping, <laughs> dealing with uh, driving, driving, driving yeah. just all sorts of stuff. And um, we really try and focus on the necessities rather yeah. than just having a garage full of gear you know it's yeah. really like you and you don't use... always need the most expensive things oh, on all. all the things no. yeah but we have <laughs> i have our core set of things that we use every time and then there's a couple little extras and that's it like we really try to focus and keep it Simple. lean and mean when it comes to gear yeah. and accessories and coming up next for us we have some trips planned for uh the holidays coming up that we're very excited about and we'll be taking the rig with us obviously yep. and so it'll be kind of a new experience for us for some of the places we haven't been there before Ooh. yeah and we um we might be traveling far for the the summer next year and so who knows if it'll be in this or it'll be in something else wait there might be something else mm. subscribe to the channel to find out <laughs> <laughs> yeah. cool so finally to wrap it up uh we're about to do a video next uh why don't you guys tell everybody about it and then uh, we'll definitely publish these at the same time. Yeah. Yeah. So they'll be able to watch it by the time they're at this point. Your video will be live with yeah. me. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Wh what are we doing again? We are going to grill Matt. He has not seen our questions. I'm in the hot seat. I'm in the hot seat. He's in the hot seat. We are going to ask him some tough questions about what it's like to be on the other side of buying the RV thing, yeah. industry. Like we, we are, we are the we're consumers. We're the consumers, and he's the salesman. So we're gonna. <laughs> We're gonna pick his brain about RV sales, the RV industry, history and future of RVs, all sorts of fun stuff. And they've been instructed, to, partly because it's the way I like to roll. I do not know the questions, nope. and that's the best way to do it. Yeah. And I'm a really bad poker and he's player. He's promised to answer all of them. Oh, so. I will answer every single one. <laughs> Ooh, we have to throw some zingers in there. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> Great, thank you so much. Thanks so much for yeah. having me. Thanks for, Thanks for the pub subs. Of course, of course. Uh, you've been indoctrinated. Yep, yep. Um, and make sure, again, you guys check out their channel. Make sure you check out the video that I'm in with them. We'll link that down in the description below. Hit the subscribe button, smash that thumbs up button, and we'll see you next time.